So I'm following that under there. And it, as I say, this takes a bit of skill because even just with feeling, you can often only feel the bands coming up the side of the toes to about here, even with a chopstick. And it starts to get where you can't feel it physically from about here through here, often. Sometimes you can, but most of the time you can't. It's kind of like you gotta know it's there and then you sort of sense it intuitively. And this is why you learn a lot by having it done to you. And this is some of the area that's the most, um, you know, difficult to really master, okay? Again, I come back to the other ones because they've had a little rest and I can do things like this where I'm just moving the joints just trying to open them up a bit come back to this one maybe stretch it like this stretch it back like this to its full mo full stretch and then kind of move it hold these points again because they're still not loose they're just looser but they're not loose yeah and then come up here because it and then it'll come to a point where it's just a bit too much. That's enough for the, for today for for that particular toe, you know. But that's um, I can work that. And I can feel already that that's a bit looser. It's still tight, but it's looser than it was. So that band's starting to let go from the top. So if anybody, say for example, had knee problems, say before they did a knee reconstruction and it was like really tight through here, I'd be wanting to get these toes loose and this toe loose and then that would then come up here and we'd loosen up that which if that's tight that's pushing the knee together grinding it or you know pushing the, the bones and, and creating that tension um, in the joints which should be nice and loose okay and then I'll come back to this toe that was quite sensitive and I'm just going to go in and again with my fingers this time so that it's not so intense and work on this side, which was really, really sore for her. So I just want to work and I want to sense that I can at least do something to loosen it up. And she's getting a bit better, but here now I'm hitting her, her threshold through here. All right. And again, I'll just see if I can get a bit more out without it being too much for her. And I might just even hold that. <sighs> And let her breathe into that and then slightly stimulate that, yeah? How's that for you? Edge of intent, edge of your, yeah. So I'm just holding it there and just slight movement. See how slight the movements are that I'm doing just to sort of break up that congestion in there? So I can, I can feel how intense that is. So I'm easing off slightly but changing the angle and then just slightly moving it. Again, I just want to keep it under her threshold. Don't want her tightening up against me going, that's too much. I don't mind her going, that's fucking near my intensity, <laughs> but not that it's too much. You okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. And then you can see how, how sensitive that is through there. And again, so I'm just like allowing her. I also like to recognize it with people, like so that she knows that I know that it's intense, right? Otherwise, she, if she goes, wow, does he know what he's doing? It's so friggin' intense, you know? And so I'm just ever so slight, just holding that mostly and letting her breathe into it. And then moving it. And that is That's good. Come back to that one. Yep, that one went good. So again, by no means do I feel like I've loosened, I've got that toe to a point of, of looseness, but I've made a little bit of progress there. But it's so, like, it's just so charged up in there. And, and, and you know, when we were looking at her at first and going, yeah, she's not too bad compared to other people, right? <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but again, we always we never work. Your tune is different than hers, anyway. So we figure out a way. We, it's always trying to figure out a way. How are we going to make some progress? So again, whether that means no chopsticks and just working on somebody's head for a while. There's there's treatments that I do where the whole treatment I do is working on their head and then assisted belly breathing. Because if I used a chopstick on some people's toes, it's just immediately, immediately too much. 
right? So, yeah. So again, here what I'm doing is I'm not using so much of a chopstick as I'm, I'm squeezing the sides here because the band's running through here. All right, it's running along here. And I, I want to give her a little break from the intensity of the chopstick. So one finger here is on the band lower down. My thumb's on the, on the other band on the other side. And here, I'm ever so slightly moving it like that. All right? And again, that's up near her intensity, yeah, or her threshold. But it's just a bit different for her than the chopstick. And then I'm using my, my finger to sort of do that so that it's a bit more, um, you know, my finger's gonna be a bit more padded than the chopstick. And then on this side, here, I'm gonna use my thumb and do the same thing and just try and move that, that blockage that's in that side of the band there. And again, working it just at what she can kind of handle. Then I'll just give her a little rest and I'll just do some more general kind of moves to see whatever's gonna let go with, with moving with the toes a bit. Just giving her a bit of a rest from the intensity, even coming in for a completely different part of the foot, which I'm about to work, because I'm about to come to a little toe, and I'm feeling the bottom little toe band here, and I'm like, wow, that's tight, which I may not have even perceived before, and I know that that pressure point there is really tight. <laughs> and yeah, yeah no, she, was, oh, like she was saying, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and I, again, not too hard. You can see I'm not really going like as hard. As, I'm just, you know, I'm just bringing her awareness to that, and uh, that there's quite a lot of tightness on this side of her, her foot. And then I'm going to go. Okay, let's come into that that little toe. And again, I'm pulling this little toe. It's not moving anywhere, right? There's no joints clicking anything. So that little toe is quite tight. So I'm going to do the same thing here. To me. If we're looking at the importance of toes, I would say the big toe is the most important, and next is the little toe. All right? In terms of the different bands, there's more bands coming from these two toes. The other ones sort of provide stability in between, which is important, and they're all important. So this one feels very tight. So again, I'm just letting, trying to work it just at a, a sort of nine, eight or nine. There, I'm just working in there, stimulating it, holding it. But a lot of people tend to try and work really fast with a chopstick. Um, and that to me usually signifies that they're really not tuned into the energy of what they're doing and how they're doing it. They just go, oh, it'll be me that releases this thing. But it's not. It's bringing awareness to the spot and she's going to release it by breathing and letting it go in her mind. And then as she does that, I can go in deeper. And I can hold, it's like bringing awareness to a spot and then stimulating it. You all saw that video I did of the yoga nidra of like lying and, and you know, breathing in and, and being aware, aware of different things and letting it go. So that's what the person has to do. And again, she's super tight on this inside of this little toe, like all through here. Can you feel that, that kind of ridginess there? Is that, that's okay? I'll try and go in here and I'll try and go light so it's not too overwhelming. Because that feels really charged to me, which is why this point is so tight. So this upper little toe band here is, and notice how her little toe naturally tends to almost go under the next toe, okay? That to me shows tightness in here and the upper little toe band. All right, because there should be actually a little bit more opening in a, in a loose foot, okay? And, and so there's a slight curling under with that little toe. That's always going to show tightness through here, All right? And you can see it doesn't take a lot of pressure to reach your threshold on that one. So again, it's just coming into here. And so much, it's so intense for her. So I want to give her a little break, but it, again, it just gives me awareness of where I need to work. It may be in another treatment that I go, okay, let's, let's deal with this little toe, because there's quite a lot going on in all the different veins of the little toe, right? 
It's not that I always can get it all out in one go, especially if it's, uh, it's obviously very sensitive for But I will hold that spot up here and shake it. And now, because I've only had a short period of time, I still want to just follow these bands up and see what's going to let go from me, even if I've got 10 or 20% out here. I then should be able to get 10 or 20% out higher up. So I follow that upper little toe band, which feels quite tight. And on some people, um, I could use more of a, like an elbow or forearm through here, okay? But with her, it's just, you know, that's enough pressure. So I can do that now with all the bands of the foot. I can feel all the, the seven bands and I can see what's gonna let go after I've done a certain amount of release through here. But like I say, I feel like I've only got 10 or 20% out. Um, and you know, that's just because I'm, that's her, it's intense for her, right? And, uh, and it's her first time ever experiencing this kind of stuff probably, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, people build up, up to it. It's, it's kind of like, wow, what the hell's going on? This is not what I expected, or you know, whatever it may be. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow up that um, big toe belly band. And see, on this part of the band, I move quite reasonably quickly. You know, I was doing all the small, intense movements down here, but up here, if it's gonna let go, it's gonna let go by doing this, and maybe just holding it. It's not going to require too much. You should feel it and go, is that letting go or not? If it's not letting go, it's still anchored. Okay, if it is letting go, then we've done a good job down here. Um, and usually it's somewhere in between. It's going to partially let go. And we can even then come up here. And again, this is that band that we were talking about that's coming right into here. And so I, this is about where I generally would work up to on a standard treatment off the inner leg. Okay. And then I can feel all the other bands through here. And again, see what's gonna let go from holding them, from rolling over them. Okay, go a bit lighter and just. Okay. Again, just again, always paying attention to that threshold. You know, it might just take, it just takes longer, that's all. Come back in, do a bit more in here. I could again, depends on how much time I've got. You know, if, I, if, I, if she's only booked in for an hour, what's the time now? Has anybody got a? 57 minutes. Yeah. So. You know, if she's only booked in for an hour, that's what I do, you know? If she books in for an hour and a half, I could either do an hour and a half then on this foot or I could come to the other foot and try and, you know, do a bit here, a bit there. I could do her, her hands if I have two hours a bit more. Um, so the pace at which I'm working is very much at the moment dictated by how much she can handle. Because I could certainly go harder, but it would be too much for her. Some people, like with you, it might be that the pace is how much energy do I have? Maybe you could handle more, and I'm working you up to my ability, and then I start to get tired or it's overwhelming. So that could be then the, the you know, the, the, the dictating principle of, of how deep I could go or how much I could get done. It might be that you exhaust me after two hours, you know? 